Hi, it's Patrick here from Reliable Hydroponics. Today we are going to be mixing up some neem oil. We're going to use a liquid soap, horticultural grade, and a organic neem oil. Um, we're going to mix that in a litre of warm water. We, we heated it in the kettle, got it to you know, tepid temperature. The reason we're doing this is because we have a heavily infested uh, cherry tree. It's infested with red spider mite. The webs are pretty heavy, so we're going to try neem oil because the reason we're using neem oil is because it's not harmful to humans. Um, in India, it's been used for thousands of years. They use it for lots of skin ailments. You can use it on your pets. It can be used on all edible plants. It's a great thing, neem oil. Okay, this is what we do. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to start with a solution of 3 mil of the horticultural soap. Okay, so you basically, each plant is going to react differently. So the best policy is if you've got a, a sensitive plant or you've never tried it on this plant before, start with a smaller dilution and you know, build it up. If it's not affecting the pest, add a bit more next time. You know, it slowly works, but it will, it definitely works. Okay. So I'm going to go with 3 mil of this. I'm going to use five mil, start with five mil of neem oil. I'll just give that a quick shake. Neem oil has got a very distinct smell. It smells like um, onions that have been stored in sweaty socks for about three months. Right, I'm going to use 5 ml of neem oil. Uh, neem oil, when cold, is quite thick. It will go solid. So, at room temperature, it is liquid. Okay, it was a bit cold in the room, so we've uh, dropped that into some hot water just to uh, make it more liquid and solid. Easier to use at the pet then. So we'll go again. I've shaken it up or shook it up if I'm from Northern. Right, here we go. So this pipette holds five or three mil. Now what you're trying to do, this has to blend with the water. So, it's floating in the water at the moment, but once I shake it up, it should blend. And if it doesn't blend, then your water's too cold, or you haven't put enough um, horticultural soap in there, emulsifier. There she is. Neem oil in a spray can. Now, what we're going to do next is go to our poly farm and see, uh, spray our cherry tree, leave it a few days. We're going to check that with a, a microscope loop so we can see what's happening with the, the pests. And we'll make a video about spraying them and you can follow us on that. Thank you. Hi, it's Patrick here from Reliable Hydroponics. We're here in one of our polytunnels. Uh, we want to show you 
our cherry tree, which has been seriously infested with red spider mite. Uh, you can tell it's a major infestation because of the the webbing. That's how they get around. So basically, they're tiny. You won't see them with the naked eye. They're so small. You need to get a loop or some little magnifier. Um, but once you get to the stage where you've got masses of web like this, you know you're you're pretty much in trouble. Your plant is is going to be devastated. So red spider mite very difficult to get rid of. You come back every year. It you know it lays eggs. The eggs can survive through the winter. So you've got to find something that's going to work. Um, we use neem oil. Uh, so we're going to show you how that works. So I've mixed it up here. Um, basically you're just going to spray that on. You, you should, neem oil is a preventative. So what you should be doing at the beginning of your season, when you start getting buds and stuff, start spraying. Um, spray it. If you've got a I mean, they, they say th every 36 hours. So start off with a every 36 hour regime and then you can knock it back to a, a week, once a week, you know, once you get hold of it, once you, you get on top. But if you do that early in the season, you, you won't have a problem. You'll build up, the, the, the plants build up a resistance then. And you can actually water the water neem oil in as well. So the plant draws it in then and it, it exudes through the, the leaves. So you basically just mix it up, you spray it on. Um, they don't like... Um, spider mites don't like damp conditions. The perfect conditions for spider mites is uh, dry and warm. They don't like damp. So just, you know, getting some moisture in there, getting, raising the humidity is going to help. If you can lower the temperature and raise the humidity, then hallelujah, you're halfway there. Introduce some spider mite just to show how they're going to kill it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Tune in. Everything you see on the, our videos you can buy on our website at uh, www.reliablehydro.